Hey there, everybody. This is Jonathan from Starview Tech Support, and today we wanted to show you how to update your lithium battery using the Star EV Lithium app. In order to do this update, you will need the Star Lithium app on your smartphone or tablet. I'm going to put a card up here at the top of the screen that's going to take you to our previous video that we did last week showing how to download the app and to get it set up on your phone. Then you'll be able to come back to this video once you've got it downloaded and set up. If you remember from last week's video, you will need the Bluetooth ID number, which is located here below the QR codes. You will remember these last four digits, 0266. This will correspond to the options that you will see in the Star Lithium app on the opening screen once that you've pressed search for battery. You will see these four digits will be one of the choices. Once that you have the Star Lithium app opened up on your device, you will need to turn the vehicle's key to on and press the power button on the side of the battery. I'm going to go ahead and do that now. Just for reference, the power button is usually located on the side near the QR codes. The 210 amp battery does not have this power switch. All of the other ones do. So if you have your app open, you will click on the button that says search for battery. This may take a moment, but you will be presented with different options and one of them will end in the same numbers that we had demonstrated before. You will click on that button. It will connect to the battery. At the top right of the screen, you'll see the gear icon. That is where you will press the gear icon and then at the top of the screen be presented with a button that says BMS version update. Once that you click on that button, you'll be presented with a button that says update and also below it, it says reset via Wi-Fi. In either of these buttons, you will be able to click and it will ask you to connect your battery to Wi-Fi. Once that you're doing this, it allows your phone to act as the middleman between the battery and Wi-Fi. You will click the button at the bottom that allows you to connect via Wi-Fi. In these two boxes that you appear on the screen, you will enter your Wi-Fi's login information. So that is your Wi-Fi name and also the password. Be aware that both of these boxes are case sensitive. Then you will click the button below that says connect to Wi-Fi. This may take a few moments to connect. On the screen, you'll see the button that pops up that says Wi-Fi is connected. You will click the button that says confirm. At this point, it, this will begin the transfer between your phone, the battery, and Wi-Fi. Nothing else is needed here. You can hit the arrow at the top left. This will bring you back to the main screen. Click the gear icon and click exit the app. So you may find an instance where you connect to the battery, click BMS version update, and be presented with a different screen. That one may show as we will demonstrate here, that screen may show that the BMS version is already at the latest version. So we'll click here on the screen. Once we click the gear icon as before, you'll try to click the button that says BMS version update. Once that you try to click update via Wi-Fi, you will see on the screen where it says BMS is already at the current version. Now, you can also use this screen to make sure that your BMS version has taken place. Bear in mind that once you connect to Wi-Fi, it will take a period of time for all of that information to download from the internet to your battery. So you may allow at least half an hour, possibly an hour for that information to download to the battery and for it to update before you go to check it and it shows that it's already been done. So now your battery has been connected to Wi-Fi and is downloading that information on its own. There's no other work that needs to be done at this point. So you are free to turn your vehicle's key off. You do not need to turn the power button on the side of the battery off. The battery will continue to update on its own. You can also exit the app and go about your business. As long as the vehicle is able to con stay connected to your home's Wi-Fi or your office Wi-Fi, it will do all of that by itself. Should you run into any issues using the app to update your BMS, you are free to contact any Star EV dealer. And on our website, 
at StarEV.com. We have a dealer locator in case you need a dealer or you would like to find out where one is that's local to you. They will be able to help you download the information and even possibly download the app onto your device. They will also be able to walk you through anything that you need to know as far as updating the BMS version. So hopefully we've given you the information you need to be able to download and connect your battery to Wi-Fi, download the version update to your BMS on your own. If you need information on how to download the app and get it working on your device, remember we do have a link taking you to our last week's video that walks you through that. Today, thank you for tuning in from Starby Tech Support. We'll let you guys get back to your day.